you had uh, Uh, yeah, as you mentioned, yeah, yeah. Once you pick up the, you do these tests in the annual checkup, and your kidney disease has picked up, and uh, you mentioned that in the most of the, at forty percent of the times it can be reversible. But if suppose the 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 patient falls in the category where it is irreversible, regardless of the cause, uh, if he falls into this category, how do we delay the progression, or how do we avoid this patient? from landing into a failure so kidney is already do, doing a lot of work is there any way we can delay it so though it is a very general question as i already mentioned both prevention and delaying the progression depend on the underlying cause of the kidney disease let us take the example of diabetes we know that it is very common in our country and 40% of diabetics in our country have kidney disease if i have developed diabetes in 2000 now it is 2020 i may already have some protein in my urine if my doctor picks up the protein quantifies how much of it is there gives medication to reduce the protein loss my kidney disease though it is not reversible can be delayed by even a decade or more and this is proved very well even from indian data so initially in the 90s when there was data compiled we know that when a diabetic indian or indian diabetic reaches to creatinine without good bp control and sugar control in 4 years from serum creatinine of 2 they will reach dialysis stage by simple measures of sugar control bp control using medications to reduce the urinary protein loss the disease can be delayed and reaching dialysis can be postponed by 10 years and there is very strong data to support this in our own country in our own patients so there are a list of strategies that we do one of them which is very effective and popular is called ras blockade there are a group of drugs known as renin angiotensin aldosterone system blockers when you do this ras blockade your protein loss comes down your blood pressures come down and your kidney disease progression is delayed significantly so starting this group of drugs very early along with reduction in blood sugars and blood pressures helps in preventing the kidney disease for other diseases like glomerulonephritis interstitial nephritis once you have a diagnosis there are many types of drugs which are available today when you used in a particular situation specific for that situation you can arrest the progression or delay the progression by 15 20 years also each nephrologist in this country will have patients who came to us in 2000 it's 2020 now they are still at serum creatinine of 3 and they have not progressed majority of the credit goes to the patient because they are listening to the list of the 10 do's and don'ts that we give and i should mention here salt intake in our country which is a huge amount i think one of the highest salt intake is seen in our indian subcontinent and we find that those who cut down their salt intake they delay the progression of kidney disease by several years i have any number of patients who are salt 2 grams per day and they have not progressed from their kidney disease at all even in the last 10 years irrespective of the underlying reason underlying cause of kidney disease salt intake bp control protein loss reduction in the urine all of them have very effectively postponed the progression of kidney disease equally true is patients who are smoking smoking causes the progression to hasten significantly and when you stop smoking you can see the effect on the kidney disease progression other things which may not be as common is abnormal lipids somebody who has a cholesterol very high hdl very low there are certain drugs now which can be used by these people to delay the progression of kidney disease i also mentioned about obesity and there is strong data to talk about reduction of the bmi helping in delaying the progression of kidney disease significantly avoiding medications like painkillers helping to delay the progression of kidney disease similarly a 
particular patient when he has a known disease taking a, a curative medications like i mentioned to you earlier if there is inflammation in the kidney in some people steroids have prevented progression or delayed the progression significantly though we use it only for a short term of time as far as the stone disease is concerned i should mention here because it's a such a common thing in our country people have recurrent stones in the kidney but nothing is done about it they will come again and again get the stone removed take painkillers simple thing like doing the stone analysis will tell you what is the underlying cause of the stone it could be uric acid it could be a calcium stone or it could be a phosphate stone and once you know the underlying cause of stone formation there are medicines which can be given so that you don't form stones again so in that cohort doing such a simple uh -huh. thing uh -huh. the progression of the kidney disease so like this several things can be done when you know why you have the kidney disease